And now we are officially joined <laughs> by the one and only Pittsburgh Steelers <laughs> alum, a.k.a. my locker mate. But more importantly, he's a West Virginia Mountaineer alum, and especially this week where it's a backyard brawl taking place. Ah, yes, Mo, is it a yes, coincidence you yes. had TG call in on 9-13 day? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know what time it is. Terrence Golvin, a.k.a. my locker mate. Almost heaven. How we living? How we living? On Man, 9 13 day. They call it a 9 13 yeah. day, baby. 9 13 day. We feeling good. We living good. Every, you know, I had a good week. You know, uh, West Virginia won. Okay. Hit okay. loss. Mm. It was a good week. JMU, like, JMU you know, won too. Go Dukes. JMU got a dub. Absolutely. I was sending tech. I was sending a lot of texts in like the. Yeah, to, to group chats and different stuff. It, it I got quiet from some. Somebody got hey. quiet in the text, bro. I don't know what happened, bro. It definitely got quiet. I had a long day. There, I was man. playing golf. <laughs> I don't know what playing that golf was. And so. Drinking. It got real quiet. I was like, all right. But before we get too deep in this thing, you know, I got to shout out Tito, the good vibes with it could just simply hit you with the RQQ to the good bros. So make sure yeah, I pass man. that around to you. Absolutely. For sure. For sure. But yeah, man. Yeah. Before we even get into everything, we know you got some action this weekend, huh? Yeah, we got action this weekend. We go down to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. We got uh, we got Grambling University coming off of a a, a, a tough loss against okay, okay. LSU. So we we catching them off of that. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's get it. Let's get to it. Respect, you know what I mean? respect. I like that. Get the legendary Hugh. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I get the back up. I'm excited about it. You okay, know? okay. So, Let's go. Nameless I like that. Faces. I'll, nameless gray face. That's how you know. That's how Jim you feel. We got us a cool little game this weekend too. We got yeah. Troy. We just coming off of this UVA ACC victory. D. We just testing our. You know, I already told you this. We just testing our. You know, see where we at yeah. out here. Right. But there is also another game this weekend. I believe it's like right up the road too. So it was at Morgan Town. Probably like an hour and a half, man. Hour, fifteen minutes. Almost heavy. Oh, what's the word? What is the word? Almost heavy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Almost heavy. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Almost heavy. This okay. doesn't sound too confident. You, you see, the, he, he got real quiet right there. Don't, don't TG, get, what TG, happened? You getting quiet, man. TG. You getting quiet over there, TG. Quiet. You, you just, just quiet. Quiet. that's all oh, you're going to say? Them boys got to come. Them boys got to come down to hostile territory. You know what it is. Everybody in the 412 said they singing yeah. Sweet Caroline. That's what they I keep hearing. That that's they what they keep saying. <laughs> They won't sing that in more. No, they won't. No, they won't. There's no way. They when Country Roads kicks on, that means you just got wood. Just understand that. Ooh. When Country Roads kicks on, that means you Take just got me wood. Home. Mm -mm -mm. On top of that, check this out. Special things happen in Morgantown. Ooh. We got special things happen in Morgantown. It's the brawl. Okay. We're I've been getting texts. I've been getting, man. Hey, Y'all so coming off of a positive performance this weekend, right? Yeah, we just won a game. Okay. You know what I mean? They're coming off of an L. Well, they chip on our shoulder, tape. exactly. Uh -oh. I mean, you're, you're putting words in my mouth. On the shoulder. Forget all that. I don't matter what you're coming off of, what you are. We, my, my boys remember how you waved us off the field mm. last year. My boys remember all mm. that trash talk of the summer. Oh. My boys know you got to come to Morgantown, oh. and things get extremely hostile Ooh, in Morgantown. Wait. Oh, if wait. you're going, you probably should call me so I can make some phone calls <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> then you can be all right when you get down there. He said, yeah, you got to check gonna be... into the city, bro. Check in yeah. before you pull up in the city, bro. <laughs> let me let me just up. make a call ahead of time. You can't just pull up, D. Yeah. Don't just pull up in there, D. That. Don't just pull up around in Morgantown, Don't bro. You, you got you, bro, you better call ahead like your TG. Let your homies know I'm D. Have my face. Show them. T send a picture yeah. of what I look like around here, all right? I don't want no funny business going on. <laughs> Where you at? Mm -hmm. You ready mm -hmm. to Morgantown. Okay. Get ready. Okay. It's going to be extremely hostile. Extremely hostile. And we got an elite DN in there, uh, top two in the nation in sacks. I don't know if you've been paying attention to okay. some of the things that's been going on in okay. Morgantown. But there's some good things cooking up over there. Okay. I don't well, know. If what's the quarterback attention. talking about? Because I know in Pittsburgh, it's been some talk about some quarterback play. Yeah. What's your quarterback game talking about over there, man? We got Gary Green. We got a nice dual threat. He can move. He can run. He can throw. He was at the Elite 11 with Peyton Manning earlier in the Ooh, year. Ooh, you know okay, I mean? okay. So Pedigree guy. Good Come on. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay, Come okay. On. Okay, okay. Come on, that's a guy. Okay. If he was 6'4", he, <laughs> he'd be a first-rounder. Oh, so he got that type of talent going on. 
Yeah, if he was six right. four, he'd be a one. You know okay. what I mean? Just give him some time, let him cook. I think he'll have an excellent game this weekend. All right, all right. Well, well Deep, before I ask you about your quarterback in Jerkovic, Homer Simpson did say thirteen to nine happened in Morgantown. That was magical. I just wanted to let you know it. I didn't know. I thought he was on your side. I don't think he's on your side right now, though, bro. I just want to let you know that's what Homer yeah. Simpson says. I just, just threw it out there. Yeah. All right? I'm innocent, though. Yeah. I'm innocent. I get that. Yeah. I get that. That's, that's what you say when it's like, you got to think, bro. Yeah. That was the biggest moment in pit history. No, like, not, at probably, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. The biggest moment in pit. Not at all. It's, it's just slight work. Let's go. It's just something to remember. Moment. I was talking about that today. It's something to note, something to put on the calendar, something to remember, <laughs> no, memorialize, was, but like... That was the biggest moment in pit It's not. We got we got <laughs> national championships. That was, bro. That wasn't just a moment. That was the We got guys winning Heisman's up here. Ooh. That who they were as a program. Like, that was the moment in pit history. You know? So it's like, I get it. I, I mean, we just we, we just won a conference championship. I, I don't think that too was, long yeah, ago. Yeah, that was a couple years. Ago. I don't think year, year two ago, yeah. sniffed yeah. one, right? Definitely mm. wasn't that year. It's, Them boys was like chewing something that year. Mm, it's been a you while, know, while. Have you been Have you been watching the Swamp documentary? I've not. I do want to tune uh, in though. Well, just let me give you some info on it. If you've been watching it, <laughs> you'll see a lot of numbers pull up as they go through the documentary. Every time you'll see West Virginia at the top of that mountain. West Virginia. I don't know if been, yeah, I don't know if you're paying attention. Like we are one of those. Mount we just dealt Mama. with a little bit of adversity these last couple years, but we will stump. Now, D said, I, D I said remember it's been more than a couple. He said it's been like a decade. He's been close to a decade Never now, but decade. he said it was like a decade, bro. bro. They won backyard. They won one bro. We won the last like five before that. He know what it is. <laughs> He's coming to get punished this weekend. He's coming to get punished this week. Well, here's the thing. You were talking about being at the top of the rankings and stuff throughout the Florida Gators documentary. It, but that's the thing about the whole 13-9. I, I just think it's that's crazy you're thing. calling in no on 9-13 day. It is 9-13 day. You bro. got knocked off it by was. us. It was. We was going to the Natty that year. That knocked us out the Natty. We came back the next year. We stomped you. We came back the next year after that. We stomped you. Came back the next year after that. We stomped you. I, I don't even know if I can confirm. Hold on, hold on. I, I, just, I got a question. I got. You know, I don't, I don't follow... Pitt or West Virginia like that. West Virginia. Deep then brought up the, the national championships. Who, who got what? What's the count? What's the count? And when were the most nine. recent? What, what's the count? What was the most recent one? West Virginia man, has zero. Pitt has in, nine. Man, we're talking about now. Let's talk about what's going on. <laughs> Wait, you were just talking <laughs> about like 15 years ago. Hey, TG, 15, that's crazy. 20 years ago. TG, that's crazy. TG, TG, that's crazy. TG, that's crazy. TG's that's crazy. TG's moving the goal for us. That's crazy. I'm talking now. I, I like yo, this pit team over this WV team. Yo, you just talked about the past ten year history, and now you say, "Bro, I don't want to hear about that." I'm talking about right now, you bro. That's crazy. That is crazy. Hi, hi. I like it though. What, what's going on this weekend? Hi. How y'all gonna get out of town? So, so when so, you get back on that freeway, you're going back with an L. I don't see it. Well, TG was shouting out some of his West Virginia players. Can I, can right, I shout right. out some pit players I, I say, that are going to make impact? Talk, talk your talk. Deke's talk your talk. Talk, talk your game? talk, baby. Talk your talk. Well, if you didn't know, we have Gavin Bartholomew at okay. tight end. This dude is going to be drafted. Ooh. This dude is 100% the, legit. Is, he's not tall, is he? No, I don't know that dude. Is hey, he? He's tall. All right. Yeah, he's, he's oh, good. Let's, let's he's tall, dude. Yeah, yeah. 86. Okay. Really good. Our running attack, you know Pitt. We can do some ground and pound. Mm -hmm. We got guys like Rodney Hammond Jr., mm -hmm. Sebo Flemister, Daniel Carter. Mm -hmm. And then Jerkovic at quarterback really disappointed me last week. I'm not even going to front. I I'm not going to front. But dude is a fighter. Dude has that gritty Steel City mentality. He's from here. He came back for a reason. He knows the significance of this rivalry, and he's going to take care of business down okay. there. Okay, okay. Because he's not going to want to be hearing the country roads that TG's talking about. He's, he's going to want to be hearing that sweet Carolina. That's sweet, sweet Caroline being chanted and sung in the crowd. You know it's going to be chanted if that even sounds like it comes on. What? Oh, oh now this family oh. friendly. This family friendly now. This family friendly. I'm just throwing it out ahead of time. This is family. Like this is very much family friendly. This is a TG. This is a family friendly PG 13 show. How far are we into this? We an hour and 10. Oh, we an hour and 10 minutes. Never mind. You can let it fly. We an hour and 10 minutes into this thing. All right. It sounds like that's coming on. Just know. <laughs> it ain't even enough seats in y'all. You won't have it won't be a very nice pit outing. If you go in there, it's gonna be you sit here and your man can sit ten feet away from you. It's not gonna be no no friendliness. It's gonna be I'm <laughs> telling you. 
if you don't know some, no, just walk in that stadium thinking it's sweet, like it's gonna be extremely hostile. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. I like it though. You know, West Virginia was ranked one of the top ten spots in college football in terms of their stadium hostility. That's a fact. That's Google. You can Google that. That's Google. You know I mean? That's that's Googleable. Yeah. That's, I've, I've, seen, I've seen that. I've seen that list. I've seen that. That's Googleable. Mm-hmm. So you know what you're coming into. I think and that was a biased list. <laughs> He said you. it was an alum. He said a West Virginia alum made that list, man. How come ain't no pit people get on it? Mm, cold, we need man. our own stadium. I've been saying that. Respect for respect. how many years here? Respect. You only got your own stadium. I know we need one. You're preaching to the you choir. Can the you club. help me with that? You got to rent a spot. <laughs> he said you hate it from outside the building. That's crazy, craziness. All right, all right. So TG, before we start talking a little NFL ball. How does it go for you guys on Saturday night? Let me hear real quick. 28-3, West Virginia. Mm. <sighs> Convincing. Sheesh. Almost heaven. <sighs> West Virginia. 28-3. Blue Ridge Mountain. Let's go. Shenandoah River. You, you know the song. You Ew, the song. you really singing it, TG? Yeah, okay. You know I, it, it sounds way better in stadium when everybody's singing it together. Or maybe a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, a little you bit more hydrated. Something? I'm not hydrated enough for your vocals. I, That's I, all. I think if I would have if really sung it, you would have felt it. I, 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 it I so probably would have. It, it was just... You, yeah, I, I, I'm on, I'm on my, my plants. I'm not on my, my liquids. So I need the liquids for your vocals. It's just... Okay. You know how my ears be acting that. funny sometimes. You know how that be, bro. It ain't you, it's me. Yeah. And I do sing it so much better in stadiums. I've sung it so many times. Like, <laughs> so many times. You know, there it is. There it is. So many times. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So he so got it at 28 to 3. Singing Country Roads. Talk to me, Deke. Let me be realistic. 28-7. Let me be more realistic. 28-7. That's respectable. Okay, okay. 28-7. 21 point. Dang. 21 point better than y'all. Oh. Hmm. The only reason college game day is not there because they got to go to Colorado. You know they got to go to see Prime. They got to see Prime right now. The only reason they got to go to Prime. Yeah. Because they got to go to Colorado. Got to go there. Other than that, they definitely would have been in the backyard, bro. 100%. 100%. Mm-hmm. My score then? How you How you seeing it happen, dude? I got it 28-3, Pitt. Oh. <laughs> oh. <crazy. laughs> oh, he You're said match that energy. You're crazy. He say, he say so, 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 sweet. Caroline, that's what he said. It's crazy. That's what he's saying, bro. He said they gonna be over there singing the sweet Caroline, man. Hey, what's what's that one spot that wing spot y'all be going to out there in Morgantown? I forgot. Varsity the, Club. Don't varsity there, Club. Don't that, I'm gonna say I knew that was the name. Varsity Club. They said they gonna be swinging don't, don't, at the Varsity don't, Club. Don't, don't they singing don't. Sweet Caroline at the Varsity Club on Saturday night. That's that. what they said. That's what they told me. That that's happened. what they told. They said they gonna be in that thing. Hey, hey, hey! You get a shot. You get a shot. Sweet Caroline on the carry. That's what they said, man. Man, when you see that sea of gold out there, I'm telling you, it get it get things weird. That sea of gold, that sea of gold. You feel me? A little bit striped with the blue. Gotta have that striped blue. That, Gotta have that. When they make that, when they make that nature walk, they come touch that rock. They coming down that. Oh, the nature crazy. walk. Okay, okay, okay. All right. The greatest walk on the greatest pregame walk. It's mm. up there with LSU. Let's go. You hear all the tradition I'm giving you here? I'm peeping it. I'm peeping it. I'm peeping, it. I'm peeping you it. You see what I'm putting down? Okay. Okay. Respect. They respect. They got it from the Morgantown. Special I like the tradition. Special in Morgantown. We, I don't care who you are, where you come from. You got to come to Morgantown. It's hard to get out of Morgantown. It's hard. It's hard. I like it. I like you it. feel that? I like that right there. All right, all right. Do yeah. you got, D, D, you got anything else you want to put on this before we before we get up out of here? You got anything else you want to get off your chest? I think this is just all empty talk from TG nothing. right now. He's done. Okay. You okay. don't have nothing else to put I think, on. No, nothing. I think this is always okay. got. I think this is always okay. got atmosphere. This is, this is this last. Blah, this is last this chance. Yeah, he I think this is always got. He knows pitch the spirit. He did name a DN. He won't. He won't say another thing. He won't say another thing for 365 days. That's done. This conversation is about to be over for a minute. We've I been waiting. cannot wait. Oh, my D. I you cannot wait until next Wednesday. I don't care how this game plays out. 
I don't care how this game plays out. I cannot wait until next Wednesday. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be fire. Don't this is gonna be fire. Blink. I can't wait. Don't this is gonna be fire. Blink. Here they come. I'm <laughs> let's go. You. Let's go. I'm telling you, you don't hear no you don't hear no doubt in my mind. I like I'm it, bro. You, I like it. Well, well speaking speaking of doubt though, speaking of no doubt in your mind, we know that you have no doubt about your support and love for Antonio Brown, Mr. Big Chess. Yeah, and before you had called, we was actually talking about putting it on, putting that Steelers that jersey on. back on it. How you yeah. feeling? You seen that? I know if anyone seen the tweet, you seen the tweets. I you probably was you probably was proof reading the tweet. He was like, "Yo, T, this straight." He was like, "Yeah, but you good?" <laughs> I know you I was. was I, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 what's sad. up, man? Talk, how how you feeling about your man saying, you know, what's up? He, man, he, 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 just think about it. What do you say? Just think about it. He always hear me ready. out. Just hear me out. He always ready. We ain't, ain't gonna get it, but he always ready. <laughs> he always ready. I ain't, I ain't never seen him. I ain't never seen him not look in shape, not look elite. I ain't never seen that. This movie, this movie has hit the credits, man. We're, <laughs> we're gonna keep on, keep on. Man, and I'm a fan. You know that's my guy. Now, now wait a minute. Now that's wait a, a minute. Great way to put it. Now wait a minute. We not done then. You said it's in the credits. I'm a big Marvel movie guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do feel that. Oh, uh, I love me a Marvel movie, especially when the credits come on. Because I know I'm, I'm going to see me something pretty dope hey. at the end. Or it could be scary. Might be Thanos. Is. is it Thanos or is it something dope? I don't know which one I'm seeing that's, just yet. I don't know. Like, I kind of want to know, though. Piece, but you know, the movie don't always kind of go how we get that sneak peek. I uh, know. Gotta, but but, but yeah. it intrigues you, though. It'll have you hype yeah, for a little bit. It It'll have you hype. I think this is kind of like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey we, uh, it's like I'm kind of, I'm joking, but I'm kind of not joking. Uh, 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 I'm playing, but I'm kind of serious for real. What's up? I think we would love to see, you know, I'd love to see A4 out there. I just, it's going to, you know. So he's not good but enough I, to play. Is that what you're telling me? Wow. So TG is like Deke this week. It's 913 day. It's Pitt. It's the hey. backyard bar. All that other stuff. Backyard bro. Neither one of these dudes think AB is good enough to help the Pittsburgh Steelers win. Well, you just he said he's not good play. enough. You no. just said that's Terrence why you Garvin, don't want him because he's not good. Terrence Garvin feels like he's more than good enough to play. He'll come be an elite receiver. You said he's the number three receiver on the team. You said it, it, it's, no. it's Pickens, Terrence Robinson, Garvin, and, then, and then Calvin and Austin. Going, is that what T? TG Terrence Garvin didn't say that. Terrence <laughs> Garvin said that man will be a top one, two receiver on that team right now. He Why you had to go with your government though? That's crazy. He, he said, yo, Terrence no, Garvin said, said this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence Garvin said <laughs> You're not gonna misquote me. I'm throwing it out there now. <laughs> you see what I mean? He'll be a top two receiver right now. That's what he said. <laughs> I ain't gonna but, lie, talent wise, I'm with you. I think D, D, you 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 kind of agreed as well, talent wise. Just just yeah, he be top three. Talent on, just talent on. He be top talent only. Okay. Well, he would be top two with Deontay Johnson being out for three four weeks. Yeah. Oh, so my whole thing is we don't want, we don't want to mess up his ring of honor right now. It takes a couple <laughs> years to get in it, so it's no point in starting over that time. So, yeah, I don't want to see it. I'm well, we've I'm seen in New on. England that you don't have to be married to those rules. You could make exceptions. Brady's getting ah. inducted. They made an exception. Ah, I think he, I don't That's think they We make exceptions all the time. There's no point in messing with the clock. I'm, I'm just you saying. Know? I mean, we just if he could help your squad no win games, the, the way that people talk about this Steelers team, they speak on it as if Super Bowl aspirations are very much legitimate. And if that is truly the case, it's hard to win a Super Bowl without your number one guy. The guy that, you know, wins all the one on ones, keeps the offense flowing on a play and play out base. It's hard to do that, as we've seen. Mm. And we know AB mm. for a fact can do that. And he could do the deep ball. Um, no, AB still A4 now. Hey, look, look, look. <laughs> He, he, he in the tweet he said we need to feed GP George Pickens number fourteen. Pickens you know, is public enemy number one right now. If you're on defense versus the Steelers, I'm looking at that. I'm saying take that away, bro. Psh, good luck. I ain't worried about the rest. I got to make sure he don't get me. Bro, run the ball. So what's up? Run the ball. So so AB so AB can't help Kenny. AB can't help Matt Canada. AB can't help this offense. He can for sure. So but, so, why you don't want to put that on, huh? Why you don't want to put that on? He can't help this uh, 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 Put this. that on. As much as, much uh, as he uh, can uh. help, as much as he can help, I think it's still, 
the team's too young for AB, man. That, wow. That's, that's, there's going to be more damage. Yeah. There's going to be more hurt. Co- no, no. The coaches told Keanu Bitten that you got to grow up fast. They've already told him that. So what's the difference? Grow up fast, man. Cam, that's going up against other teams. Cam that's got not hurt. He told Keanu Bitten, you got to grow up fast. I just think man. you go into the offense. You say, hey, team meeting offense. Matt Cannon, you come here too, baby. All right, listen, guys. We're going to have a little fun this year. Y'all got to grow up fast. Antonio Brown is on the team now. What? Like, just, you know, just go like that, man. Yeah. Hey, what? You got to think they bought Kenny, man. They ain't going to put Kenny in no hostile situation. Does Antonio Brown make Kenny a better quarterback, yes or no? On the field. So what are we talking about? <laughs> I've seen Kirk Cousin look elite at times with Justin Jefferson. I've seen Ryan Tannehill be a Pro Bowl $100 million quarterback with A.J. Brown. I've seen Tua go from ill to is he the MVP front runner because of two? I mean, because of a uh, Tyreek. So what exactly are you saying? Those dudes aren't running off the field. What exactly are you saying? I seen Donovan look to one side of the field with T.O. I seen, I seen, I seen, like I seen, I seen some things too, man. Of which I love it. Come on, bro. What we on, bro? What we on? Hey, you, you, like, you, hey, you was watching. You can't take you, off yet. I've seen. I've seen hey, that. bro, for a fact, say that again. I, the plane was sitting on the deep. The plane has yeah. never. The plane has never with a capital N E V E R never set on the runway after it was time to go. Except for his, one time. I don't think his play is ever a question. He's elite. Mm-hmm. He's arguably to me when I name my receivers. Yes, that's on not number one. Like that's. Mount Rushmore. Yeah, like, he, he and my convo heavy, heavy, that's, heavy. Like, that's a Hall of Famer. Heavy in my convo. That's, heavy. Yeah. I'm when like, you're serious, you're naming A5. I don't know how you don't name A5. All right. I'm like, ain't yo, no hey, hey, put your feelings to the side. We just talking ball. If we just talking ball, I'm taking AB over any of them. Ain't no way if we just talking ball. ball. But we obviously know it's a little I'm bit more than that. Is, yeah, that, I just, mean that's ninety to ninety five percent of. But AB's what matters? But what matters most, man? It's all. It's all that. But off listen. The field but stuff. listen. But listen. To we know To was a little bit of a you know off the field some stuff, but because he could ball, you live with it. Tg was here. It's he, not even off the field for AB. So like, what we saying then? The the so what's up then? It's, how, it's just how he affect your quarterback. Like, yeah, how your quarterback scared to throw to the other side. I've never like, seen Ben Roethlisberger scared to throw the ball to the other side. I don't know what you're talking about, about Tg. Tg, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Nope, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Nope, nope, he's fine. Nope, everything worked out good. You, you really just brought up a good point. He's never played with a quarterback that wasn't like a... He did, uh, and that's when it didn't work. Car. Who? Car. Yeah, I mean... That's when it didn't work. Didn't I don't even... They didn't play together, though. No. Like, he was with Tom. He was with Vince. Yeah. We really think about it. Mm-hmm. That's it. He didn't have some Landry, though. Don't play. He didn't have some Landry. I mean, but you know what I mean. He didn't have some... Nah, but, uh, and that and that was that's when coolers got thrown over, and I love him. I was there. Oh, give me the ball! And that's my guy. He guy was just t- he wasn't thirsty anymore. That's all. He was just tired of drinking. He was like, "Yo, why y'all keep trying to hydrate me, man? Get rid of this Gatorade." That's all that was. I Everybody remember. knows that. Yeah, I, I won't. remember he knocked it over. I'm like, I feel. You. I'm just glad I ain't get wet. I'm like, I ain't tripping. Dang, dang, dang. God, give him the ball, man. It's not a bad idea to give him the ball. It, it, we can all agree with that, right? Yeah, it's it's usually the, the delivery is off. The message not as bad though. The delivery just off sometimes. I'm with you. I, you. I don't think it'll, I don't just the delivery. Do, does A B make Matt fun. Canada a better coordinator? Uh, maybe. A lot of like I just think it it choke holds you, man. Sometimes it's hard to have like a superstar. Like it chokes holds. It puts you in like a. Ah, I got But is he him. still considered a superstar at this stage? Yeah, for sure. Still eight four. I don't know. A lot of people can cover that. It's still open. I go lot it's, like it's still open. I believe that open. way more than the, than than the other. I'm always open. That I ain't never seen AB not be open, bro. It's still open. I stand and, on that. Until I see open. something guarded, I ain't never seen it guarded. Yeah. And then when open. it is guarded, it's gonna make the freaky catch. So it's still never guarded, bro. I've never seen yeah. it guarded. Never. It's still open. Now, X Concepts in the chat says AB would single-handedly save Matt Canada's job. I don't hate that, man. I feel like the offense would just had it. We've never seen the offense more explosive than in that time with AB and the Killer Bees, right? AB, Ben, L, but it, that's the most explosive we've ever seen in this offense. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So wait, what? We ain't seen this offense look explosive outside of AB. Last time AB was here, it was very explosive, bro. That's all I'm saying, man. It has been downhill since then. It just just down, 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 down. And now, like TG said, I mean, it's just different eras. That's crazy. A lot lot has changed since then. So AB's not going to play in this era. I got it. That's what y'all said. All right. All right. I got it, man. All right. No, put words in our mouth. Uh, I didn't say I ain't putting no words in your mouth, man. No, it's it's all the off the field stuff with him. On the field, yeah, he'd, he'd be fine. Man, I don't know. I just like, and it's like I think it's so far fetched, but like, yeah, AB would make this team way better. No, yeah. but I, you just you're not gonna get an AB. You, you know, know I agree with both of y'all, man. Absolutely, absolutely. It is fun though to just talk about it because the nostalgia it always hits. The nostalgia definitely hits. You felt it. You know that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, you mean I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing A B out there with Pickens and Come Kenny on, throwing bro. the ball. I mean with, with TG, you it'd, seen, it'd seen that Photoshop T G. You seen what it looked like. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Hey. Hey. Yeah. T G smiled a little bit when he seen that photo. Like, oh, 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 what's this? I remember that. Man. Is he is he is I this mean, the twerking bro. game or is he is he, you know, jumping on the uh, the goal post scaring the security lady? Which one are we doing? To do. You know what I mean? Do. Which one, or, or, or is he, or is he jumping and landing the front flip full speed as he scores the touchdown on the walk off? Like, which one? Oh, is, is that what we on? Like, what, which one? You don't remember the the? Uh, I think the greatest AB catch to me, and it sounds like was on the on the Ravens on that two yard. I know what you're talking about. The slant and he, he and Weddle. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. bro. I already he know. Had to put the ball out and in, like, in the DMR and the color rush the first time we broke him out. Come on, bro. You know what time we was on. Absolutely. Oh, bro. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. It's some it's some it's some legendary moments. Yeah. So like that's a legend. That's a Hall of Famer. Like let's not yeah. minimize nothing about it. That's, real, realistically, that's a first ballot Hall of Famer. So like yeah, Ma- Malachi make- called it he, the, the Immaculate Extension. That was the name of it. Shout out to yeah, Malachi. Es- Espisha uh, reminded me on that, man. That Appreciate was, you. That was to win the division on top of that. Bro, like, it was don't. a fil- And remember all the talk that all season because we were trying to get Weddle. He signed with Baltimore over us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do remember mm-hmm. that. He chose them. That's what I'm saying. He's like, like oh. He's made some, oh. He's made some moments in history that's mm-hmm. like, oh, man, wow. Bink, like, Bink the Batuzzi brought up the AB, this is Sparta moment versus, ironically, the Cleveland Rounds. You mm-hmm. remember that? That was my first yeah, time on, and that was my first time in stadium as a teammate to you guys, man. It felt a lot better than the opposite the year before when AB tried to house it on us in Buffalo. I was like, hey, what you doing? This is crazy. So I'm with you, baby. Yeah. I mean, I just remember, like, I don't remember... Let me more say this. I remember, I remember, I remember running, and I remember being like, "He's about to score, cut left." I cut, jump cut, face, cut. Yeah, he just kicked him in the face. I'll never forget. Yeah, this shocked you know? all of us. It was like, bro, what is he on? I love it though. And then L Bell um, became L Bell that game. Absolutely. L Bell. That was it. Was a day. Run. Yep, it was that a was day. the cut, cut. No I'll never shoe. Flipped yep. To the end zone. That was that ran one. Ran with his hands up. Touchdown. And everybody was like, "Oh, we got yeah, one." That was the one. Remember. But Remember. yeah, man. So, Remember. so, so, we're not gonna we, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave AB alone. Then we'll leave old eight four. Wait for is that? Now, yeah. Deke did bring up another gentleman though, because obviously our captain went down. Okay, Cam Hayward, injured yeah. reserve, oh. little growing situation. Going to need a little knifey knife, a little nip tuck. You know how that go. Mm-hmm. But uh, a couple names that popped up. I seen a JJ Wattage. And then uh, okay. Deakman floating around this Aaron Donald call. Oh, uh, this Aaron Donald talk, man. So, so how you how you living over there, man? Huh? huh? Either one of them intrigue you? Uh, I mean, I think they both intrigue you a lot. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. They're extremely intrigued. Hello, hello. I don't, I don't think they happy, but they're extremely intrigued. Deke told me with Omar Khan, anything is possible. That's what he told me. That's why I'm in here talking AB. That's why we talking Aaron Donald, and that's why we talking JJ Watt. Because Air, I mean, because Omar Khan has proven that there are no limitations to what he's willing to do. His bag and his talk game seems infinite right now, man. I don't think. Uh, I don't think. I don't think LA is up there in tank mode that hard yet. 
Mm-hmm. That's what I said okay. after seeing him week yeah, one. I think, okay. I think if you want that, you're gonna really have to pay for that. Mm. And I don't think they're tanking that hard yet. Gotcha. You hear me? Yeah. I think, I think, I think you got a shot at that. Like, you know what I mean? Like right before the trade deadline. Yeah. It's like so we're gonna have to wait a little uh, bit. All right, yeah. All right. I think you get that's that, too long. Right? Cam should yeah, be, back be back in a week or two around yeah. that point. But I'm just saying that's the only chance to see that. Gotcha. You don't just see that. You know. Um, yeah. Who else you say? You JJ. Say we got JJ. Why? J- JJ was in, yeah, was he in London? Him. He's in Europe somewhere. I feel like he was doing something with the soccer team. Yeah, Man, I don't yeah. I, see, I don't think he's I coming back. JJ on, uh, he was commentating I mean, last week, wasn't he? I was about to say I seen JJ. I think he was in the booth, bro. Show. Yeah. He he was with uh I with Cowher in them. JJ was sitting real comfortable. Yeah, he was with, with Bill Cowher and boys on C- uh, CBS. That wasn't even possible. That was yeah. like the halftime. Yeah, he he an analyst analyst. Yeah, he was like with the real boys. Yeah, I think J- I think JJ's gone. As crazy as that sounds, and I I didn't think JJ would be gone. I think JJ might be gone. That one might be. Holla at me later, it's like, cause I mean it's a good seat. That's a good seat, bro. You don't just get that seat. Them the seats that you, you stand for like twenty that. years, yeah. yeah. It take a minute, or you had to, you know, somebody got to get sick to, to pass off of that yeah. thing. Yeah, you don't just, yeah. yeah. You don't just get that seat. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I think the fact that he's sitting there, he looked like he comfy. You don't look like, you know. But TJ is his brother, and anything is possible with that. Especially when little brother asks. If little brother yeah. asks, I ain't can... gonna say that. That's way more realistic than Aaron Donald. That's I do. Way... I, I can. I can see that. Mm, that's yeah, a little we, you still got to worry about the numbers and stuff with yeah. Donald. Because you could get JJ if he's like, I just want to play with my brother. I don't care what the number is. You could always just do that. Mm-hmm. But with AD. The Rams ain't going for it. Oh, yeah, we'll just give them over there to you for free, and we're going to take on the contract, too? Absolutely not. If dang. you want AD, you'd have to pay for that. Bro, what? No, you gonna, it's going to cost you draft pieces, multiple <laughs> high ends, and you still got to take on some of that contract. Yeah, they're going to want a lot for that. And the perception is reality. So yeah. perception of that is like, you're not getting that. Yeah, That's going to cost a ton. Nah, respect. A ton. Respect. A ton. A ton. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. I don't okay. think that's a bad defense. That's a good defense. Don't panic yet, man. Don't well, that's all I was about to ask you. I got two games I wanted to talk to you about. Talk the first about. one would be Steelers, Niners. What, what's your pulse on the team right now? Oh, I think it's still a good team. They didn't run the ball well at all. At the end of the day, that team's built to run the ball. So mm-hmm. they need to run the ball. If they don't run the ball, then they don't need to be like, that's just, they're in trouble. You know what I mean? They're in trouble if they can't really run the ball like they want to run the ball. You know? They need to run the ball and move the chains, control the clock, and then they'll be able to get those explosive plays that they're looking to get. But they need to run the ball. Run first versus trying to open run it up, first. pass first, and <laughs> run as a secondary option. It's but, not they not they not all the way ready to just let. I mean, you know, I know. Kenny Cook but you saw what it looked like in the preseason. How you just how you just dial that back? How you just say, all right, I can't throw a deep no more. Let's just start running the ball. Let's let's get back to being more balanced, like we talked about this all season. How you get back to that after we saw this preseason, man? It's just a little different. I mean, and he had a good preseason. He had the hype. It's all there. It's still there. You just got to get their flow a little bit, but they got to run the ball. They got to open that up. They're not just going to come play 7 on like that and just think it's going to be good. They got to run yeah. the ball. Game flow screwed that up a little bit, too, them getting up early. And then we couldn't run the ball, too. We were struggling running the yeah. ball. Niners got they, you know, they got that front seven. I just look at it like. Part of nice. multiple, like, Niners defense, run defense, <laughs> flow of the game. But still, when we talk 10 attempts and one of those attempts being Kenny scrambling, sure, that's not enough. You know what I mean? But the pros or the, the debate is when you're down two scores, are you willing to remain patient and trust that, all right, we can run this ball, be methodical and get a drive, score or flip field position defense going to stop them? I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's Especially a, when the run game, for the most part, right. wasn't working. Yeah. We were running into a brick wall. Yeah. But run I'm with, I mean, I'm with you. Yeah, I, I want to be run balanced. I want to run the ball and run the ball. Complimentary both sides, right? Yeah. Run the ball. We run start the ball passing good, then you run it because they have uh, more softer personnel out there. You know, whatnot. Run I, the yeah. ball, control the clock, take your shots when you want to. Just catch them, keep, get them in that big personnel, spread them out a little bit. Yeah. Hit an Allen Robinson, you know. And like, Allen played well, man. Shout out to Allen Robinson. Allen did play well. 
she did play well. I think, I think just in reality, bro. Long story short, they didn't run the ball. Like they didn't have a, they didn't play bad. They got some things going right before halftime. Mm-hmm. They just never ran the ball. They never got that thing cooking. No. Now we know you, you know, had your feelings about quarterback. Turns of Kenny, man, you brought up different options, tanking, sticking with him, all this other stuff. What was your feelings about his performance on Sunday? And uh, yeah, where you stand now? I mean, I think they just got to get going. Like I said, it all starts with running the ball. I don't think we got a total fair assessment of him yet. First of all, he's still playing. He's still a rookie in a sense. Yeah. Like, yeah, he ain't had 17 two. under him yet. Yeah. yeah. But he's still a rookie. He's still a baby. Mm-hmm. So he's still filling stuff out. He's still finding his spots. He's still finding where he can do certain things. Yeah. But I think running the ball would just make the whole game easier for everybody involved. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. For all parties. I think they have to run the ball. Well, and we know in that run game, man, it will help limit some of the exposure to negativity for Kenny. I feel like at times, you know, on Sunday's game, man, just the sheer volume or the amount of, you know, throws that he was having, it was just going to put him more in harm's way. And especially when you're playing against a defense like what the Niners have, a mistake here or there versus some of these other teams, it's a tip pass and it kind of falls harmless to the ground. We saw with the Niners, even when they had the uncharacteristic drop pick by Fred Warner, when he had another opportunity, they capitalized on it and it really hurt us at the time. You know, that's one of them things, you know, where where you're putting it in the air as much as we were without being able to have some type of, all right, man, this is the counter to that, man, this isn't working, we can still do this. That's how them games do kind of get out of hand, like, you know, we were experiencing a little bit on Sunday. Um, I agree with you. I mean, at the end of the day, it was San Fran's a good defense. That's an elite defense. Mm-hmm. San Fran was a, a bad elbow away from being in the Super Bowl last year. Mm-hmm. San Fran, you know what I mean? San Fran, okay. that's an elite team. Okay. You know, they, they always play defense. Like, they got a new D coordinator, but that thing's still biting. Their corners play physical. Their linebackers can run. They get downhill. They got good D-line play. That's a good team. They got a safety. They got baby Troy back there. You know what you mean? He should be a stealer. He, he looked look like just like when he pitched that ball, bro. I loved it. I didn't love the fact that it was happening, but I loved to see because it did look just like some Troy stuff, bro. Like Troy. TG, you got oh, any takes God. on the Steelers' defense? I thought their defense played cool, you know. Um, I thought they played cool. They was on the field a lot. Um, I didn't feel like – I just thought it was the first game. You know, I thought Pat P was balling. But then at the same time, he had two scores on him. Yeah. But I thought he was locking up over there. You know? I thought it was just one of them days. Like, it was a tough day. Tough day in the offense. Concerned at all day. for the D-line without Hayward? Or you think we'll be all right with uh, Keanu Benton, the dude we drafted in the second round, Ogan Joby, and I then all those other depth guys? I think it'll be all right. TJ went crazy over there. You got to keep that cooking, you know? Um, well, it was funny it was when you had said the thing about Pat P. He was like, bro, he was balling. <laughs> And he was kind of, you know, gave it the two tutties. I'm like, bro, I felt like that was our defense. At times, our defense, I felt like we were balling. Yeah. And then I'm yeah. like, bro, we giving up a 60-yarder here. We giving up a bomb here. Are you cooking? I'm like, dang. But at the same time, looking at TJ go berserk out that joint. Okay. And I'm like, bro, we nice. Okay. So, yeah, man. Yeah, that that might have been the defense as a whole, bro. I think it's don't panic yet. Don't yeah. panic yet. Let this thing keep cooking. Let this thing keep cooking. Okay. And let's see what it is in a few minutes. Okay. Let this thing keep cooking. I think another week gonna tell you a lot. This week will tell you a lot. You know, extra day though. Monday night, man. Extra day. Team coming in here off a big AFC North win. Mm-hmm. They feel like they hot a little bit. They scored a lot of points. They're gonna try to run the ball. They're gonna control the pace. They're gonna. They're. In, it seems like honestly, two. This is two AFC North teams. They're built yeah. just the last. So let's see. Like this will be a lot of. You can get some couple questions answered here. You know, but that's where we're at. All right, all right. Now, now, Deke, you, you said you had another. You would ask my another well, team, man. TG did mention Monday night. Oh, here he go. 
TG, thoughts on the Jets now? No, 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 not the Jets. On your New Jersey Jets. Jersey. That is your Jets. <laughs> Do not. T- nope. That is your Jets. You were very adamant about it from start to finish all all season. That has been your team. In fact, you were saying that was your team before Rodgers was even officially a part of the team. So that's <laughs> definitely your team, man. So what were your thoughts on your team Monday night? Your, your victorious team, might I add, man. Beautiful that was the most fashion. Thing that ever happened in the history of football. Like you, I know it's not been nobody. <laughs> Like, uh, bro, they it was so much hype for that team, bro. bro what it, they built they the put, whole off season on it, man. They put them boys on hard knocks. It wasn't a show, radio, TV. You couldn't see about the day. Like, I thought I drink the Kool Aid. I seen it. You can't tell me that team wasn't about to make a run. But that team, and I know Coach Tyler made is like, oh, you think we did? That team feels like you did. <laughs> You say, yo, I know they ain't dead, but bruh, it just like felt dead. dead. I'm like, y'all got the got walk off, punt return. Them boys, they went from celebrating to our oh, reality hit. I thought that was, the it's touchdown like, was great. I was, uh, I, man, I, thought, I ain't gonna lie. When I, when I went to sleep, I was like, it's over. They might not score another point. But the, they came back and they got it hot. I loved it, bro. Point. It was beautiful. It was, it was like one of the ones where you're watching the defense and you're like, bro, if you on, if you're a defender, you love this, but it's pissing you off because you like, bruh, what is up with this office right here, man? Bro, bro I woke up because I, I took a nap at halftime. I woke up. It was the end of the third. Yes, like, bro. Oh, yes. yes, bro. What's going on? Yes, Let's bro. Let's go. So, bro, I just, I was devastated, though, man. I, I was one of the many people. I'm like, there's no way. I thought it was a foot. I'm bro, like, you know no we way. was both hoping that, man. Yeah. I'm like, there's no way this is a season, and yeah. ain't no way this is a foot. And then you know all the you see everything. It's just yeah. like, it's just, bro. That team was built for a run, and they were built off this quarterback. Yeah, so I mean, all the they pieces they brought through. in was for that. Yeah, it's not, bro. They brought the offensive coordinator in for him, for him. <laughs> like they brought. That boy said we ain't seen Hackett him. be a nice coordinator outside of Whit Rogers right now. Right. They brought these people in for them. But but think about this though. Hackett was just in Denver last year, so maybe Zach is a better quarterback than Russ. So maybe I can't say that. Russ Zach, looked good. So maybe one. Zach will get more out of Hackett's offense than Russ could. That's all I'm saying, man. Oh, man. Let's find out, bro. No, Russ looked like he had it, man. He was throwing some lazy. He's never had to throw of the pro day. He's never had to throw of the combine. I've seen Zach Wilson roll out to the left, spin back, and then throw it middle of the field, very late, 70 yards, bro. I've seen it, man. I've, I've seen, seen Russell that. Do that in regular season. No, nah, no, nah, but he ain't do it in the he ain't doing the pro day with all them cameras and all them people there. He did that. Zach did that. Nobody else. But I seen I seen Zach lose six straight at the end. I don't, of the year. I don't know what you talking. You bringing up old stuff now. Stop bringing up old stuff, bro. Okay. I don't remember that. I don't know what you talking about. I'm just saying. I, I ain't remember none of that happening, man. It's the same. Season. I remember. I remember Zach Wilson having an electric all season about a year ago, man. You know, hey, 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 you better hide all your all your 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 mother's friends out there, all right? Cause Zach ain't playing. He back in the lineup, okay? So put some respect on what Zach do, okay? Y'all know what he on. Y'all know what time he is. All right. Okay, I hear you. I mean, I'm with you. Roll with it's... your guy, bro. Stop backing down off of your guy, man. You love the Jets. Keep that same energy, man. Injuries happen. They're part of the game, right? No, we never did that. Injuries are next man up, bro. Well, if you had the Von, Von hop Miller to wasn't another out team, there. Von, nope, nope, nope. Don't give no ideas. Von Miller wasn't out there. Von Miller's still injured. So, yeah. Man, I just think. Y- y'all y'all right. without y'all Super Bowl champ, <laughs> Buffalo without they Super Bowl champ. Uh, Boom. That's a fair trade. It's, it's that's a fair trade. Very, very different. That is a fair trade. Y'all got a Super Bowl champ. Future Hall of Famer that's out. We got a Super Bowl champ. Future Hall of Famer, he's out. Say same, same thing, bro. No, we're talking. It's the exact crazy. same thing, bro. Uh, you got a Super Bowl MVP. You, you, no, 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 no. You, know, you got a Super Bowl you know MVP. The importance of a quarterback. You got a Super Bowl MVP. We got a Super Bowl MVP. Both are out. So what's the difference? They're both MVPs. They both have reached the confetti and been the best player on the field at the confetti. They're both future Hall of Fame, first ballot Hall of Fame guys. They both have, you know, hundreds of hundreds of million dollar contracts. First round. No, the fair way to look at it is 
you take out Rodgers, you take out Allen. That's no, that's that's, that's not fair. That is no, because Rodgers is a Super Bowl way. champ. You've already made it clear. One has a Super Bowl, one has not. You said if you don't have a ring, you just like everybody else. You said Josh is like Kenny is like Burrow is like everybody. That's what you told me. So you can't say Rodgers is like Allen being out because Rodgers is is, is different. He's a champion. So Rodgers is like Vaughn being out. And Vaughn is out right now, so it's equal. No, they're Bro. both like top five, Rogers, six quarterbacks. Rogers I don't need to talk about. Yeah. No, check this out. Let me give you how it's going to be. Rodgers getting hurt is equivalent to Tom Brady getting hurt that year. Uh-uh. He might see nope. some rules nope. get changed because of this. He said, that he said, well, that's, like that's what you're saying earlier. I think it was. I think this is the one. This is NFL altering. Like, what do you mean? Like, it's not just affecting his team. This is NFL altering. Like, oh, no. <sighs> They really do might like bake everybody like put that grass field down though, bro. I can see it. They should. I can see it. They should have was, done this, but yeah, I think this is the wake up call. This is NFL altering. This isn't just I mean him. nobody could hit everybody. a quarterback in their legs all because of Brady. Because of Brady. All them the quarterbacks they got hit beforehand. Nobody said anything. Brady get hit, get hurt. They say, Nope, we're changing the rule. That's crazy. The only- the only thing, the only thing that can save this day is if Batman returns. You know what mm. I mean? If Superman comes back. Mm. If Tom finds his way. Come on to, to New, New York, York, baby. Come, it actually, it's New Jersey. Go to New Jersey. Come on down to New Jersey. If Tom comes and fixes mm-hmm. it. Come on fix. down to New Jersey, baby. Mm-hmm. But even the names they're calling, I'm like, Philip Rivers. I love Philip Rivers. That's not it. You know what I mean? TG, we're on the same page. Cam, I think no, you you Cam, call Brady and everyone else is no. You'd rather Cam, go with Zach Wilson. You gotta call Tom, or you gotta call you gotta call Manning off the Manning cast. Like that's about it. You calling all these stationary quarterbacks, bro? Man, I hear you. What is the weakest link of the Jets team as a whole prior yeah, to Aaron Rodgers going down? Their biggest weakness, and it still was very clear for four quarters. It's that offensive line, bro. Yeah. You bringing up Brady, that's not mobile. You're bringing up Manning, that's not mobile. <laughs> Heck, Matt Ryan, that's not mobile. You better start looking at the mobile list, all right? So let's see. You got Cam Newton. You got Marcus Mariota. You got Colin Kaepernick. You got... Uh, Is, is Trevor Simeon considered yeah, I, mobile? I would just go Wilson over all those guys. Man, I mean, you could go get Mariota. You know, the homie Kel said trade for Tyrod. I don't, I don't hate that. I, I, I mean, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. I, like, I actually do like you that. You know what Tyrod from too, bro? He'll go out there and cook. Stop playing. Stop playing. He'll go out there and cook. But I don't trade for Trey Lance. Uh, trade for Trey. <laughs> trade get trade twice in the same season, but that's a rough. Oh, that's a rough go. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not a human out here right now that's, like, going to be like, yeah, that's it. Like, they're Trade all, Trade for like, Fields, ah, maybe? No, no. Now, he said, here, but like, hold on. Deke just said trade for Trey Lance or Justin Fields. They, Chicago not trade for Fields. They're not giving that up. They still believe in that. I, Trey man, Lance, I though. Some, I said something crazy. Like, man, find a way to get Kirk Cousins over there. Like, nah, But Kirk Barrow, yeah, 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 Vikings ain't giving up on Kirk. Kirk yeah, still can cook. Like, Kirk like, know what he doing? And it, these people know you desperate right now. Like mm-hmm. you can, I and, and this might sound crazy. I think Mason would be an interesting one to kick the can on and see about. Mitch. I would call about that. You you low call. key could get some. I feel like because of their situation, of you could get something off of them right now. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They are in a bind because they bind. have everything in place to go. But they, I bet you, they, they wait a they couple they weeks there to see what Wilson does. I feel like you have to. Because if they Wilson does Cobb like work there, out a little bit, you'd rather have him than probably yeah. a Mitch or some of these other backups you're talking about. Bro, I think the thing is this, though. They didn't even believe it this offseason, which was why they went all in to get Rodgers and right. why they even had the moment where they flirted with Lamar. So right. they've clearly made it. They know and everybody in that organization know how they feel about Zach. That's why everybody looked like they mama passed away when Aaron Rodgers went down yeah. and Zach had to come out. They like, bro, it's what? Like, it's you gotta like, think it's people huh? that haven't talked to Zach. Yeah. That's like, oh we don't need to talk to Zach you. anymore. Zach, you a nobody. You're not yeah. important. Now I gotta come really talk to you. Like <laughs> I gotta be buddy buddy with you again. Oh, now I gotta fake laugh at your job. Oh God, I don't wanna do this. Redemption story, maybe. We're gonna see, man. <laughs> 
But the crazy part is, once again, it's nobody that can come make it feel better. Like, this is this is devastating. <laughs> I'm just happy for you, man. I'm just glad that you're going to get to ride your gang green, your J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. I was so happy for you. I should have texted you Monday night when y'all won. I should have been like, bro, congrats on that win, man. Y'all earned that, bro. Y'all balled out. I'm so proud to see y'all get that type of win. I told Deke said he offered me condolences for Monday night. I told Deke I was glad the game turned out the way that it did. I would, couldn't have turned out better. I loved everything that I saw from start to finish. It was exactly what I needed to see out there. It was beautiful. I'm not part of the nation. It was beautiful. You are definitely part of the Jets nation. You got you got a green shirt on right now, don't you? I know you got green on over there. You got you got the Kelly green on. Which green you wearing? Oh, you you, you got the throwback the unit on. You you got the the throwback script, or, or you got the the Sanchez. Which one you on? You on the Bart Scott, or you on the oh. Testaverde? I'm just I'm just checking, man. Oh. All right. None of the above. <laughs> Who's your squad now, TJ? Oh wow. Who well, I'm well, with? You bet, and I say Seattle. <laughs> uh, I'm just, uh, just, I'm just, I'm just. You see, he want to say Seattle. He want to say Seattle bad. Why not the Steelers, man? You're pure blood and everything, right? Why, he I mean, wanted to say the Steelers. Why not the Steelers? He he's talking Seattle over there. I'm telling you, he like he instantly thought Seattle. He was like Geno for president. <laughs> I'm just a fan of players now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the NBA for I'm TG. More, yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> I thought you I thought you was gonna pull your alumni card out with, with your with your commanders. You know, I, no, I, just, I, I just ain't know how you, you was feeling. I, I ain't know what shit what time you was on, you know what I mean? I just I don't be knowing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just a fan of good business right now. Like I like magic in the office, you know. I, I know that's the crib business. for you. I, I know that's like a homecoming when you go back. They like, oh, TG home. Oh, it's TG. No. TG back in know, the spot. Baltimore's what up, though? Baltimore's the crib. Bro, it's literally it's 30, 40 minutes up the road. What we talking about, I man? They that. come right down there from Park Heights and Shirley, and they come right down there to the DMV, and they get that mambo and, the, and the, uh, start beating their feet with y'all down there. All I right, know that's like, like that. you be beating your feet and you. Be be doing all that bounce no. yeah i know how y'all no. get it in man come on bro you didn't see the video of the fan beating the fan up i i, I did see the fan beating the fan up i man, did see that Yo, I, I, I did see that bro i definitely but that that always happens like that down there you know that it's big b <laughs> <laughs> i like it i like it bro but yeah i mean I'm in turmoil. I've I've lost my Madden team and all that. No, so you did just, not. That that is your team. Yeah, updated rosters and everything, man. Makes I'm I like the I, the I, I love right I scrambling. love updated rosters. I just want to let you know, updated rosters is like it's a great. Whenever Madden thought of that, it initially it caught me off guard, but it, it makes it more realistic. So, so shout out to the updated rosters, man. Shout out to all the updated rosters out there in Madden, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm scrambling like the Jets. <laughs> Bro, you got number two overall quarterback. Number two overall pick at quarterback. But what you talking about? Yeah. Zach is a higher pedigree player than Kenny Pickett is. And you hear the optimism Deke has for Kenny. So yeah. I know you got to be feeling electric about your boy, Zach. I'm not going to let your words lie to me. I know how you feel deep down. That's your team. That's your guy. I hear you. That's your guy. I hear you. And Zach, you trust no. <laughs> no. No, I've never said that. It's all never good. It's all good, Dick. It's all good. I like it, though. I like it. All right, all right. I'm trying to think, trying to think. We done did our backyard brawl talk. We done talked about our, our in house stuff, potential replacements. We even asked you about Mr. Put It On. And now we done closed it up about you. About your New York Jets. All right. Salute you then, man. Can I say something? I'm listening, baby. What you got for us, man? Is the Steelers going to put robots in their stadium? Oh. No. Oh. No, we won't do oh. that. No, we don't do that shit here. Oh. Oh. No. I mean, why not? Could could you get more consistent cheering out of that? Is that what you... Where are you going with this thing, TG? I'm just... Are you worried about the team being booed? The home team? What you worried about, man? I'm just trying to just curious if they would do it, man. Because I mean, the stadium had a lot of red. In yeah, it. I mean, you've seen. I mean, we've seen. We've we've been a part of stadium takeovers. That's not our first yeah. time being a part of a stadium takeover. We've been about a plant. TG, you you've been some stadium take. TG, you didn't been out there in that black. We didn't took over some stadiums. You know what that felt like. We didn't took over some stadium. D, you just took over stadium. I've seen you in attendance taking over a stadium. D, I've witnessed you. I've seen that. 
it just so happened that it happened at the crib this time. And like the inverted inverted way. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I was just curious. Mm. I just seen the. I seen. Mm. The, I had to ask about the AIs, man, because I was, you know. <sighs> you bring up a good point, though, man. You bring up a good point because it was a sea of them out there. I said, Lord, my my, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I wonder if Pitt would do that. Man. <laughs> I, I I was I, at at one point in the fourth in stadium. I was contemplating like maybe we need to pull the Colts and just like pump our own sound in because it was literally just Niners drowning out everything, bro. I was like, yo, maybe we need to just just turn up the Larry just just hit that little switch up there in the, in the, in the announcers box. Just, you know what I mean? Give us a little volume, man. I don't know, baby. I don't know. Bounce back week this week for the fans too. Yeah, it is. I'll be down there. I'll, I'll get it straight. Okay. Deke said he pulling up with a... You got a pack on you? Always. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Love it. Love it. All right, then. Deke, you got any closing remarks? You got anything left? Uh, 28-3 pit. God. Double down on it. All right. I'm going to spin it back to you then, my dog, T-Jizzle. Any, any closing remarks for your side? You know what it is. You got to come to Morgantown. All right. Then. Territory. All right. Territory. My Call dog. before you get down there. <laughs> My dog. There it is. Call before you get down there. There it is. There. there it is. So, well, you know we'll be hollering at you next weekend, man. Can't wait to hear this one. Oh, baby. Right. Oh, baby. But as always, right. definitely appreciate you, my dog. Hey, we got to do our picks, man. Oh, Whenever y'all ready. You hear We got to do our picks. Y'all pick y'all 12 games like Lee Corso. And I guarantee I'll win every week. Let's do our picks. Y'all let me know when y'all ready. All right, all right. So how you feeling, D? Up. Because I know yesterday, me and me and TG was recording our locker mates. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we had introduced a little 12 games. It was a mix of college and pros. Oh, you pick your own best 12 games. But, like, we did it together. And then we was like, yo, these are the, these are the games that we like. And then we both like, all right, let's pick. You win or loss, win or loss. Like that, right? Yeah. So, like, say you. So you already have the 12. Yeah, we did. I can send okay. them to you. Yeah, yeah just send them to you. All right. Know, it was spread or what? He didn't want to do spread. So we said, let's do it straight up there. He got scared of the spread, though. He don't like Straight spread. up. He wanted to go straight up, just pick them. Yeah. Okay. I was like, that, that, that's a little different. Okay. But it, it makes it simple, too, though. Yeah. These are like locks? So put it like this, right? Or just close games? <laughs> close games. Close games, but you always include your alma mater school, too. So okay. like JMU was on the docket. They played Troy. Obviously, Pitt West Virginia was going to be up there, but whoever like your team was, you was going to have them up on that team. So, of the twelve games, you know, one game is going to be Pitt guaranteed each week. One game will be JNU, and obviously the WV part, right? Especially at this stage, because all those games should be good conference games going forward. But then from there, it was like, yo, all right, man, we got Florida versus Tennessee. We like this matchup. We got Colorado, Colorado State. We like that. All right, league wide. Who do we got? All right. We like, I think we had Steelers Browns on that docket. It was a couple other NFL games. You know what I mean? So all of that to equal up to 12. And then from there, it's like, all right, well, who you pick for this matchup? All right, who you got for that one? So if you down, I got the 12. I can send it over there to you, baby. We can make that happen, man. We all right, let me look at it. Make that thing roll. Oh, I'll figure all it out. Right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, there you have it then. All right. Well, I guess I do got to get your score prediction for the weekend, though. Steelers, Browns, Monday Night Football, TG, who gets it done? <laughs> Why he laugh already? You hear that laugh? Did you hear that? Did you hear that laugh? That's the with all due respect. He just gave you with all due respect. No, he already he already made the prediction last week. He just gave you with all due respect, man. He said we'd win this week. He literally just gave you all due respect. I just heard the. Mm, mm, mm. I just heard that. That's all due respect. All right. Uh -huh. I know TG. I, I'd have been around TG for a while, man. Saying, I think this this would be a dog fight. I think I'd have been around out. TG for a long time, Deke. <laughs> I'd have been around for a long time, Deke. That that. <laughs> This is a with all due respect. I don't care what he's about to say. This is with I, all due respect. Hey, I'm listening. I think, it ends, I think it ends in a great game, a field goal, you know, 31-28, Cleveland. Mm. But next week will be the bounce back week for sure. Why you keep telling us always next week with you? Yeah, it's this it's, week. It's man. always next. You hear? It's we don't, we don't next care week, about your man. next week prediction because it's always next week. You're man. flipping from your next week prediction from last week. They're, they're going to get ready this week. They're going to be ready to compete this week. They're going to be ready. They're going to need one more week. Okay. Okay. It's not this week. It's next week. All right. It's not this week. It's next week. All right. But don't panic. Don't panic at all. 
You don't think they're going to panic if this defense give up 31 points in prime time, bro? 31-28. But if we score 28 points, they might forget about it. They might forget yeah, about it. They might forget about it. But if you give 31, up 31 points, bro, that's that's all. Bro, that's 30 points back to back weeks. What are we doing? 31 28. You know what I mean? Oh, Our defense going to be better yeah, than that. I was just like, man, we can't be saying we got an elite defense and we drop, we giving up them 30 burgers. Yeah, the I, like us getting 28. I like us getting 28. I like us getting 28. This defense going to be better. People scoring 23 now. Don't act like that. Oh, you know I ain't tripping. You know I ain't tripping. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, hey, 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 let me just throw it out there. I should be throwing it out there. That's it. Because the Niners ain't give up 20, 23 points. So you can say that all you want. The Niners ain't give up 20, 23 points. The Bills defense ain't give up 20, 23 points. The Jets defense ain't give up 20, 23 points either. So it's multiple teams. It's defenses out here that are not giving up 20 something points, man. Just, yeah. True. We can't be giving up 30. I mean, but I like it though. Don't, don't, don't. Hey, I understand where you are coming from, and I will leave it at that, man. I I a hundred percent understand where you're coming from, baby. All right. But with that being the case, baby, salute you, man. We always appreciate you. Good luck this weekend, man. Take care of business down there in the boot. All right. All right, man. Come back with Hugh Jackson and Grambling State head on a on a steak. You know what I mean? Like that's how you know how we on, man. All right, go hunt. My dog. Go hunt. My dog. All right, baby. I'll let you. Peace. Peace, bro.